Hi guys, this is another recurring problem called jewelries and stones. You are given strings J representing the types of stones that are jewelries, and S representing the stones you have. Each character in S is a type of stone you have. You want to know how many of the stones you have are also jewelries. The letters in J are guaranteed distinct, so there are no duplicated characters in J, and all characters in J S are letters, so they are either uppercase or lowercase. Letters are case sensitive, so letter case A is considered a different type of stone from uppercase A. So, for example, J equal to A A S is A A A B B B B. So for the S, there are three A A A's, and they appear in J. So they are just the dual reads. So we are put three for this one because S are uppercase D and J is little case uh, is low case D. So our output is zero. So for this problem, what we could do is, uh, firstly we count the frequency of. The character, or we count each character frequency in S, and then we loop over J again. For each character, we just sum all the character frequency, and that is the result. And many people will use a hash map to count the character frequency in S. Here, there is a constraint that all characters in J. And S are letters are either uppercase or lowercase, because for uppercase there are 26 character, and for lowercase there are also 26 character. So instead of the hash map, because hash map they basically consume a lot of, they basically consume more memory than array. So here I will just use the memory, use the array. So I can declare an an array called Characters frequency, and because there are like twenty six low, twenty six lowercase character and twenty six uppercase character, so I will give the length is twenty two, because we want to count the character frequency. So the type is integer, and I also define here we can just loop over the. Each character in string s. So here we need to check if the character is uppercase or lowercase. If it's lowercase, then what we could do is we could just c minus a. We get the corresponding index of this character c. But for this array, we also need to store the uppercase. So we just offset with twenty six, twenty six position, and if we find a character C, so we just plus plus. Here else we know it's an uppercase. So what we could do is characters frequency C. We need to minus the uppercase A, C minus uppercase A. So we could get the corresponding position for this uppercase C. Also plus plus. So after this for uh for loop, we have counted or we get the frequency of all characters in S, whatever for the uppercase and for the uh lowercase. For this array, the uh the first twenty six characters frequency are all for uppercase, and the latter or the second half of this array is all uh frequencies for the lowercase character. So here we need to count the jewelries. So we just have a variable called jewelries. Jewelries count. We initialize it to zero, and then we loop over the J string again. Range J, and we need to check if Unicode dot is Lowercase character. If it's a lowercase character, all we know it's an uppercase character here. We know it's uppercase character. Here is the same uppercase character. Uppercase character. 
if it's low case character, so what we could do is we get this low case character frequency from the character's frequency array, that is C minus A, and we because the, uh, the low case character in the second half of the character frequency array, and we all we need to offset with 26. If it's uppercase, so it's just uh, jury's count characters frequency is in the uh, first half of this array, C minus A. And finally, we just uh, return this jury's array or jury's count, and that should be answer. Run code. Submit. Okay guys, that worked. Uh, so the idea is firstly we use either map, uh, either hash map or just a map in Golan. Here I'm using the uh, character uh, array or int array to store the frequency of each character in the string s. Because string s may contain either uppercase or lowercase, so I divided this int array into uh, two halves. The first half we just store the uppercase character and for lowercase character we offset with 26 position and store that in the second half of this character uh, frequency int array and after that we loop over the j string again to count the or to sum all the uh, jewelries count together for all these character frequency int array and finally we return uh, jewelries count out and that is the answer let me know if you have a better solution. Thank you.